Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we're going to play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 17 of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. So we're continuing our conversation with, uh, we named We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? Uh, family Pilevan, our chances of winning, Gyrosus Tax Force, Primarch Victus. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold the hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. <sighs> now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Okay, let's go visit uh, Liara in this case. And then we should go to Joker to find out uh, what uh, Edie is up to with him. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Anything new? Upgrades? Shields plus five? Nothing new. Interrogation. Uh, check out these implants. She's got jammed into her face. Alliance integrate. Shh, she's awake. Cerberus operative and intelligible. Ah, uh, hello. Do you know where you are? <sighs> He's up. Listen. Uh, Prothean notes. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get rid, uh, get his bearings. But goddess. When will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? I'm not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our culture? Okay. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd, there's so much he could tell us. That is so true. Okay, so we have nothing new from Liara. Uh, let's go back to... You know what? We should go back to engineering at the workbench because remember we picked up that thing. Uh, I don't know if that's available for us to use uh, and I have no idea what that thing is. Uh, I think were we allowed to bring it back with us? Right? Uh... Nope. That's the same thing, right? Uh, nope, nothing here. Nope, no, no. Let's check this. Maybe, nope, not this one. Okay, not that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this one. Oh, what was that thing we... Uh, one item. We have two shotguns here. Katana and the scimitar. Uh, 
No, 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 no. Uh, okay, it's got just one item. Okay. Okay, I think we should go back to... Oh yeah, we picked up some armor pieces. Uh, this is the service set. This is the N7 set. I thought we picked up some other things. Uh, or if we go through here and then... Oh, so this is a one one size fits all. Uh, no helmet. N7. Health boost. And this one is a shield boost. Oh, oh, that was the Casa fabrication we picked up. And... Amex Arsenal. Oh, Amex Arsenal headshot damage. Melee damage. Ariaki. Weapons damage. Okay. So the complete set is actually better. This one. And okay. Uh, we wanted to. Sub deck engineering. Cruise quarters, mess hall, medical, life support. Okay, let's go back and let's check on Joker and how he is now interacting with Edie. That should be interesting. Oh, is that easy? <laughs> okay, let's stand here. Hey, Commander, check out my co pilot. <sighs> so she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Oh, look at that! I would have baked a cake! I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. <sighs> yes, you are. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> He's getting Joker, jealous? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Oh. 
Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Now, where are we supposed to go next? Uh, we haven't hit... So, we have the... The Alliance has discovered a new server's lab located on Sanctum. Investigate the lab and deal with any potential threat. Shurkesh, Primarch Victus, has called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Salern ship and use the Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. Dr. Bryson is working on a classified project and needs help. Contact him in his lab on the Citadel. Uh, Prothean Ob Volus diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal. And okay, the Cerberus Lab is where we need to go. Okay, let's save this for the Normandy. Uh, do we want to go to the? I think it might make sense for us to go to the Citadel. We will hit like many birds with one stone by going there. And well, let's talk. Uh, let's encourage hold on leave the orbit see this is the orbit that has a fuel depot L2 scan Oh, that's a small planet right there. So there are other systems uh, from here. Got Castellus. So one. One, two, three. What's the fourth object here? Four, five, six. And seven right out here. Okay, let's find out what. Oh, this is uh, Apian Crest. That's where we have. Yeah, there's a refueling st refueling station there. Minos Wasteland. Let's go to the. Yeah, to the Citadel. Uh, we can talk to Thane, Ashley, and then the Doctor Bryson. And let's check on the um, Spectre weapons. 
Alliance Docs, Dr. Bryson's office. And let's bring Edie with us. Transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, uh hospital? I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I remember we just docked right no, right at that. Oh, we're going direct to the hospital. This is cool. Yes, I know. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta. What's going on here? Ma'am, I'll cut you a deal. You buy us 90 million credits worth of life-saving equipment, and you can name the hospital whatever you want. Now the truth comes out. My job here is done. What's this? Welcome to Serta. Medical capacity plus one. So should we get another one? What is our money? We have forty-five thousand. Out among uh, collected Alfred Tennyson. Mm, we are. We really don't have that much cash. So. We are here to check on Ashley. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have bionic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for a sorry use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Yeah, this is where Ashley was, right? I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your <laughs> email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could, and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. 
And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, Elsie. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless, laying here, doing nothing. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in, and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. Okay, uh... Okay, let, let her... I should get back to you. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Okay, uh, Thane is supposed to be in the hospital, right? It says come to the hospital, and uh, I don't know. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much. You can talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Wait, wasn't Thane supposed to be here? And he is like traveling incognito? Right, he said, uh, come to the hospital. Man, uh... Okay, let's look at our journal. Uh, Ishmar... Uh, a scientist is searching for missing prototypes for a biotic amplification system. Search the Ishmar frontier for the components and return them to the scientists at the, on the Citadel. A biotic amp interface. An Asari on the Citadel is looking for improved biotic amp interfaces. Find schematics and bring them to her at the Huerta Service Lab Project. Okay, uh, and then the Codex. So this is just information, and these are mission and uh, mission summaries. I guess these are yeah, these are with those are finished ones. Uh, okay, let's go to.
Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the system. Admiral David. Lieutenant. Dr. Leon. The enhanced. Garris Vakarian is a noted. Flight Lieutenant. Dr. Karen Chakwas is a trauma surgeon and a The enhanced. Lieutenant. Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated. The Reaper weapon, nicknamed Black Star, is so advanced that Alliance scientists can only offer speculation about how it works. The gun appears to exploit an element zero core and mass effect fields to fire gravitational singularities, micro black holes, that revert to their natural lethality when they impact a solid object. Researchers theorize that the blast tears apart the strong nuclear forces that hold the target's atoms together resulting in a localized fusion reaction in light atoms and a localized fission reaction in heavy atoms. If that hypothesis is correct, the weapon alters nuclei, thus changing the chemical composition of the target. This destroys organic tissue, corrodes surviving armor, and leaves a visible trail of light-emitting particles. Although some might argue that the Black Star's single launch capability makes it a liability, its capacity for utter destruction is essential when the user requires large-scale, instantaneous damage. Okay, that's the one we found, right? Uh, the Black Star? Although melee combat applications for the Omni tool are almost as old as the device itself, the feature was largely unused prior to the Reaper invasion. The need to take on multiple husks in close quarters forced the Alliance to develop ways to enhance the tool's offensive capability. The most common melee design is the Omniblade, oh. a disposable silicon carbide weapon flash forged by the tool's mini fabricator. The transparent, nearly diamond hard blade is created and suspended in a mass effect field safely away from the user's skin. Warning lights illuminate the field so the searing hot blade only burns what it is intended to. The opponent. More technically adept soldiers frequently modify their Omni tools to maximize stopping power through electrical, kinetic, or thermal energy. Some troops integrate the weapon with their kinetic barriers, transforming the Omni tool into a wrist mounted bludgeon. Others fabricate flammable gases held in place by a mass effect field and ignited upon impact. All prove deadly surprises for opponents who expect a disarmed Alliance warrior. Okay, uh, the Reaper weapon, although the, melee combat the tool, yeah, okay, we need to find out how to Black use that one. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. Uh, okay, I guess uh, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!